What would I do without your smart mouth? Trying me in, you kicking me out. I was singing for a long time already since I was like a little kid. And I was apparently too loud for my, for my parents. It's going on that beautiful night. We uh, got her into singing lessons about a year ago, predominantly to, instead of shutting her up in the backseat of the car, promoting her singing a little bit better. Madison and I met um, actually at an event that I was performing at and I was doing a number and I pulled her up on stage with me because she was singing every word to me in the crowd. I knew absolutely nothing about coaching anyone with any sort of, you know, disability or Down syndrome, what be it. But I said, you know, let's, let's meet and I'm not going to treat her any differently. Let's just see what... Let's see what happens. Perfect and perfection. So Madison is not being grouped differently from all the other singers. She's just being part of uh, the team of singers that are trained under Marla. And so when the whole team was doing videos, Madison was invited to do a video as well and agreed to do so. Cause I give you a me. There was one day scheduled for the session and unfortunately Madison had that sinus infection that day, but she went and did it anyway. Um, the professional singers have to do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you decided that you were going to do it yeah, as well. I have to tell you, even when we're crying, we're beautiful too. It was really meant um, for sort of our small community to see, really our family and friends and the like. And and it's incredible what's happened in the last uh, less than two weeks. So what do you think about the words that are on the video? where it says most people with Down syndrome can't sing and things like that. And it's harder oh. to, yeah. It's like, it's it kind of, like, it's harder for me to, like, to sing and stuff. But actually, when I actually caught it up, it felt, like, really good. And this is a big relief for me. And I'm out of my mind. Because all of me loves all. So I do the YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, and Facebook. Before I write back a comment, I always check in with my parents because um, it is, it's not easy to manage a lot of pages, so they help me with Facebook and YouTube because I'm not really good at that one, those ones. And in every video you watch on YouTube, there will, there will be some good comments and bad comments, but I think most of Madison's are good. Once the comments started pouring in, um, we did make a conscious decision to leave them on. Not all of them are great comments, but that's okay. That's actually uh, something, that's a really good reason to actually keep the comments on and let the discussion happen. Because I think that the negativity is exactly what we're trying to curtail. Um, this was definitely not a video done as an audition for American Idol or X Factor or anything like that. I mean, nobody here believes that that's something that's happening in the next little while or maybe any time at all. However, the idea was to really put forward, you know, show somebody who, who has Down syndrome, who is incredibly high functioning, who has the will, desire and passion to do something that they want to do, sing. And we just put it out there and try to, you know, dispel some of the myths that are out there about people with special needs. When you have a child, first of all, any child, you're and a newborn, you're fearful. You don't know what to do. And and a child with Down syndrome, just you think, well, um, the fear of the unknown. So I think that if a mom or dad or a sibling or someone that knows someone that knows someone that has Down syndrome and they watch this video, if one person can, we give that person hope, then we've sort of done our job, right? One person. Well, Madison has aspirations of another video, uh, maybe a duet with John Legend. <laughs> <laughs> enough stuff to showcase my diva. I'm probably not a diva. Thank you. There you go. Did you see